How's it going lads, I'm Nucleus and welcome back for more of the latest VR news. In this video I'm going to analyse the information we have on the HP Reverb G2 and hopefully come out with some meaningful information to share with you lot. My last video was short, it wasn't too in depth, I didn't really understand it, this time we're going in full on and it should be much better. But before we get into the video, do consider subscribing or leaving a like if you enjoy what I do. It's just one click and it means a lot to me. And also, you will never miss out on any of my latest videos. And now on with the video. HP's current reverb is their second VR headset that was focused on high resolution LCD panels and comfort. The HP Reverb V2 is priced at £599 and for the price it is flawed in many respects. Sure, it has the great high resolution screen, but the controllers were absolutely hopeless and ate up batteries in mere days. Despite the compromises on its Windows tracking quality and just plain bad Windows mixed reality controllers, it does include that ridiculous 2160x2160 per display resolution, which is a big step up over the next highest resolution headsets in the same class. The Valve Index showcasing a resolution of 1440 by 1600 per display. HTC Vive Pro's dual 1440 by 1600 AMOLEDs, making the OG Reverb an impressively pixel dense headset. The Reverb G2 looks to be HP's challenge to the Rift S in the mid pr range price range and should really be aided by the help of Microsoft and Valve. Now we have no official release date, specs or price, but we can look at uh, what we have and speculate. I really hope that Valve Microsoft can help HP out with their collaboration, as it has such potential to be a ridiculous headset. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the possible controllers that the HP Reverb G2 may have. As I said, the Reverb V2 used the Windows Mixed Reality controllers, which are just absolutely terrible and I so hate, I, they're just so bad and they have many issues with tracking. My hope is that Valve um, will help them produce some high quality controllers like the Knuckles or just, you know, make the headset be compatible with the Knuckles. That would be incredible. As this would improve the experience so much. Valve has produced a ridiculous headset and is well drilled in the art of VR. So with their help, hopefully the H uh, that HP makes a real gem of a headset. Now in the video that we see the words the next generation and no compromises. This is hinting towards the idea of the HP Reverb G2 being the next generation of incredible Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Now to me this could be highly plausible. With the collaboration of Valve and Microsoft it could destroy any other competition. From the video and the images we can see that it has off-ear speakers very similar to the Valve Index, and for me that is by far the best way to experience sound in VR. The Rift S and Quest both use speakers that are in the headset. These provide ok audio but is not great and the Index has far superior audio to them. The images also show what looks like two tracking cameras situated on the front of the headset, but there could also be extra cameras on the side of the headset as well, we just cannot see yet. These would allow for wide tracking volume as well, which would be nice. Uh, this could mean that the HP Reverb G2 will use Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality Inside Out tracking, which is used in a host of headsets, including the 2017 uh, Reverb. In Road to VR's article, they say, through this collaboration, Valve, Microsoft and HP are bringing a more immersive, comfortable and compatible VR experience. This is what an HP spokesperson said to Road to VR. More immersive might be touching on the high resolution, and I hope it will be like the old reverb. As I said, that is what all headsets should be like today. The low resolution just completely breaks the immersion for me and is really what, for the price you're paying in some of these headsets, it's incredible. More comfortable maybe the headphones and the headband, we can see uh, Valve making it just so much better. Um, also we see more uh, compatible, that could be the Steam VR part, I'll maybe come onto that in another video, we'll see. Now the Reverb GT may have 
borrowed some of Valve's optics as well, as it seems to have taken the off-ear headphones so it is not completely ruled out. Um, Valve, of course, have very good optics despite the lower resolution, so we'll see. And the final thing is, I just want to look at the small teaser video. So we already touched on the cameras and the audio, but what else can we see? Well, it is evidently not going for the smaller headset idea that Oculus wants to push with the Quest 2. Um, so what, what is it going to contain? Well, as I said, we could be expect expecting some borrowed optics from Valve, or just some absolutely insane displays from HP themselves. But this could mean a heavier headset as well, but it really is undetermined as we have nothing else apart from this video, a uh, 15 second video, and a couple of photos. Now, yes, what I said, the HP Reverb G2 is still a bit of a mystery, but from what I can see is something I am incredibly excited about. There is not much information, but as soon as more comes to my attention, I'll be sure to update you a lot about it. Also, if any of you have any information about it, be sure to leave a comment. I am incredibly interested in this subject, so I will always read them. Um, I'll leave the links to the Road to VR article and the Upload VR article in the description. Um, that's just if you want to read into it a bit more. Um, I certainly did. Um, it's a brilliant subject, I really love it, and it looks incredible. Now, if you enjoyed my video, feel free to subscribe or leave a like. And also, you might like some of my other videos. I do this sort of VR stuff all the time. There's Sunday News with New Clues every Sunday, where we look at the week's news of VR. That's fun. Um, then we also just have games, um, any other headsets, that sort of thing. There'll be a couple of videos in the center there. Subscribe button on the right. Just click on that, and you can never miss a video. Now, I'll be sure to make more of these headset videos, so if you do like them, be sure to stop by. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for more of the latest VR news. Thanks, lads.